that's so bright. I can't even see me. Why is it so bright? Bright and dark. I know. We don't ever have good quality. Can you all can't see me. That was... <laughs> um, oh, anyway. Hi, hello. I'm Mr. Shan, and we have Mr. Glenn Awesome. <laughs> well, I have Mr. Glenn Awesome with us today. I'm not Glenn Awesome. Who are you? I don't know. I'm Glenn. You don't know who he is. Um, this sun is just so bright. My face is... Okay, I don't even know what's going on with my face, but it's all breaking out. And I'm going to take a hot shower tonight, and I'm going to try to pop them. I'm gonna take a hot shower with my pores. Just do a facial. A facial. You got your mask. I do have my mask. I can do that. But I want to take a hot shower over my pores. And I think I started as like a little blackhead, and I was picking at it, and I need to get the rest of it out. And I'm gonna put its nose strips on. I'm gonna do all that tonight. And I just haven't felt good today. I've been so tired, and I just don't feel good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch it. And jump the tracks right there. I'm thinking that my steroids is out of my system, my antibiotics and stuff, and I'm just look at that trash can. <laughs> Did you see that? It's got a funny face on it. We're in a bad part of town, but we're going to go eat and um, <laughs> let's just say no by January is just it, it's it's buy everything January. Technically, we're not buying. My mom gave me twenty dollars because we ordered contacts online, and I usually give her money for the water bill, the help on the water bill, and she gave me the difference and for contacts, so. Technically, we're not spending money to go eat today. Uh, we're going to go eat at... Uh, wait, I wanted to save that 20 to Kino. No. <laughs> no, you're definitely not getting Kino this month. So, we're going to go out to eat and play Kino today. No, we're not. We have no internet at home. Like, we have no internet. Like, we was playing Ark Survivor Evolved, and... We was doing the end of the event. It's gotcha claws, raptor claws, and it was a Christmas event that lasted. That started in like December and lasted till January seventh. So this morning we got up and we got on the game to get the last couple hours left in the event on the game. And the last twenty minutes of the event, our internet goes out completely. Goes out. Everybody's internet in the subdivision goes out, and we have no internet. And the game. I know I've talked about it before, but the game does not stop. Like, if you sign out, it's not one of those games that saves. You sign back in, you're where you're at. The game is, like, constantly, it's a server kind of game. Like, it's live, and it constantly keeps whatever. You sign off, the game don't stop, so. You just go to sleep wherever you're at. Yeah, and people can rob stuff. And I had, like, some rare stuff on me that I got from the Christmas event that ends today and I'm sitting here like somebody just robbed my body and took everything off me and we've lost it all and he was on a dragon hopefully he wasn't still in the trench I wasn't I was getting close and uh may have lost that dragon I don't know no big deal we're raising 50 others 60 some but anyway yeah, 10 of them we like playing arc so that's what we do in the past time plus it saves money too because we're at home playing a game but yeah, we're gonna go eat at Bombshell Burgers. I've actually posted a vlog on my channel before about Bombshell Burgers. Is it, am I saying right? Bombshell Burgers? Bombshell Burgers and Barbecue. And I posted a vlog about us eating there before for Taco Tuesday. Well, today's Tuesday. And we're gonna go eat tacos. So we're eating Taco Tuesday there. And you can eat. It's unlimited. It's a buffet. Like, I wanna say it's a buffet. <laughs> it's a, um,. You can order, which I'll take you inside and let you guys see what we get and everything. But it's uh, it's really good. It's like nine dollars a person. It's not that bad, and you can eat. You can order like the first order. They recommend you order in the was it brisket? The Philly cheesesteak. The Philly cheese. Oh, that was really good too. The Philly cheesesteak tacos. Because you can only get them in threes. Yeah, and then after that, everything you order comes in twos. So. It's just, it's really, really good. So, if you live, I don't know if all Bombshell Burgers does that or not. Ours does. So, I mean, you might want to check yours out if you have it. I don't even know if you all got Bombshell Burgers and barbecue, but we do. And it's... Wherever you may be. Yeah. And, um, I just don't feel good today. Like, I said, my whole face is breaking out. Like, can you see it on that side? Like, it's this whole side. 
So she's probably pregnant. No, I'm not. I already had tests done at the doctor. Yeah, like four days after conception. But my face is all broken. I think it's where I had the antibiotics and I'm coming off the steroid completely. I'm coming off the antibiotics. I'm coming off all the mucinex. <coughs> I've still got that horrible cough. But I am feeling a lot better. Do I cough during my sleep? Yeah. I still cough during the night. Sometimes. But I'm not... When I'm blowing smoke at you. I'm not peeing myself like I was. It was bad. Oh, poor baby Ella. Ella went to bed. Okay, so I got her up this morning. She slept with me, and I have another video that has pictures of, I may actually put it in here too, is the pictures of Glenn took of us sleeping. It's so cute. So I do have another vlog coming up of Ella and her life journey <laughs> starting out, but that picture will be in there and in here too. So you can see that. He did take pictures of us sleeping. Oh, I don't know if I can show these pictures or not. <coughs> just in a sports bra. So? Have you seen some of the shit Trish Paytas does? I'm not Trish Paytas though. So? Anyway. Do um, you not want people to see you in a sports bra? Anyway. She. Well, are your cleavage? I got her up. And she went and peed on the pad. She did. She did not take long. I did not have to sit there and baby her too much. She literally peed on her pad. Glenn's got her trained where she gets a little doggy bone. He bought her doggy bones. And she gets that little treat. And she pees on the pad. And I was holding it up to her, and automatically she peed the bed. She, she did. She did good, didn't she? She went in there two, three minutes. Mm -hmm. And she goes back to the bed. She lays around. We lay around. I'm playing Xbox and everything. And then our internet goes out. And I go, what was I doing? You I went, went to, to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom to go pee. And I was going to brush my teeth. And Glenn, I heard Glenn, like, scream. I didn't scream. I said, bad. I said, your dog pissed on the bed. And she peed all over the bed. And I did not even get to put my new mattress cover on the bed yet. Yeah, lucky you had like eight layers of blankets I do. and sheets. I layer my bed. Like, I don't know why I do this. I probably have a problem. <laughs> She's a hoarder. I have all kinds of different bed sheets. They all match. Like, I have different kinds of cheetah print ones. And I have the whole sets and everything. And instead of just like folding them up, put them, in the, put them somewhere. You put them in one of those plastic bags and you vacuum them. I put them all on the bed and make the bed even softer. Even though I got a brand new mattress. No, it just makes everything slide off. Well, anyway, I like it that way. And thank goodness I did do that. And I also do that because I have a period and I don't want to bleed on my mattress. And if I have a couple sheets there, it's going to bleed through the sheets before it bleeds through the mattress. Hey, it was quick to get here. My phone's actually telling me to go all the way up there and turn around. Really? Anyway, we made it to the restaurant really quick this time. The last time it was like we took like a two hour detour. See, look, it still says we're 11 minutes away. That f GPS. Glenn's going to do a video. We're going to do a podcast today about <gasps> today's podcast day. Great. GPS podcast topic about. Our topic will be about how GPS is taking you in the wrong direction. Anyway. <laughs> Glenn's been cranky all day because he's not had internet. No, you've been cranky all day because you haven't had internet. I have been cranky. Leave me alone. I've been tired. I haven't felt good. Don't tickle my feet. I haven't felt good. I haven't felt good. I've been and all, all I wanted was a kiss and a cuddle, and you was just mean. You don't want to kiss me. Pushing me off. You don't want to kiss me. I I've tried been, to kiss I've been you. sick. I tried to kiss you. You really want to kiss me? I've been sick. I'm always on. Yes, my baby. I haven't felt good today and I just wanted to sleep and I was just the bed was really comfortable <clears throat> and like it's been when it gets cold outside we can't run our air conditioner because it freezes up and it was hot last night mm -hmm. and today I was able to run it because it's like 47 degrees and I just conked out I literally took like a two hour nap okay we're gonna go in here and eat bye, bye that don't let us no they're not Okay guys, you have been here before. And this is Bombshell and Burgers. You shoot now and pay later. Zero down. You excited? Yeah, those tacos are bomb. They are really good. That is my outfit for the day. Oh, give me a cute one. It's a cute one.
That's so cute. I want to do Christmas egg. No. No. Let's do that one. Okay. I get a gift. Oh, I don't want to do a gift. Get in here with me. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Turn that off. Delete that. <laughs> Here's our tacos. I got a lot of tacos. Glenn and there oh. all. Glenn cheated this game. <clears throat> I so won and he lost. Let's go. Hmm? Let's go. Why? You want to lose again? <gasps> no. I gotta play smarter. It's not a smart move on my end. He's cheating. Look at this, how he cheats. You're letting me win now because you don't want to play. Mm -hmm. Crap. Horrible. Look how good these look. You got no onions. Is there onions in it? it ooh. That kind of looks like what I made the other day, <laughs> isn't it? It does. Here's my second tray of tacos. Brisket and pork loin. Grand and Glenn thought, what'd you get? Brisket and chicken bacon ranch. Ooh, that look good. Huh? I like that song. This is my last one, Chicken Bacon Ranch. I don't know what all he got, but mine, I'm getting full. Oh my goodness! We just got done eating, and as you see, we ate a lot. A lot. It was good, though. It was really good. And how much was it? Uh, before uh, the tip? Yeah. 19 bucks. And then how much after tip? 20 $2 and very soon. So I tipped 18%. Okay. And that comes out your no budget anyway. Alright. So. <clears throat> You're still not playing keto. I know I'm not. You're still not playing keto. I know I'm not. <laughs> um, Stick to selling yellow over there. I'm so stuffed. I ate too, too much, but it was so good. And look at my face. It's even broke out on this side. I never, my face never been broke out like this. I am so broke out. And it's like big knots. You're gonna die. Seven days. Look at that. Right there. 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 My lips all messed up. There. Really bit me. There. I am. I'm all messed up. I don't know why I'm so broke out. Let me, let me see your arm. Circle, circle, dot, dot. Now you got a cream shot. <laughs> I've never, ever been so broke out my face. You can see it really bad right there. I don't know. I might get home and do some self care and hopefully fix it. We have internet when we get home. Yeah, I know. 
You think it could be that new soap I got? The new Dove soap? Could be. Soap does play a big factor. Because that's brand. Remember, she got those at Dollar General on sale? Mm -hmm. There's new bars that they're like lemon or. This is why, YouTube, I find one brand I'm good with. I like Dial. It's not expensive, it's not inexpensive, it's antibacterial, it doesn't break me out. I buy Dial all the time. I don't switch to Irish Spring or Dove or anything like that. I know Dial works for me. I stick with Dial. This girl, on the other hand, Oh, I'm gonna try that. I wanna try that. I wanna try that. I wanna try that. Oh, this is cucumber. I wanna try it. No, you don't know what they put in it. Find a brand that works for you and use it. I do the same with shampoo. I do the same with body wash. I find a brand that works. It doesn't break me out. I know people who've gotten bars of soap and come out with boils under their arms because there's something in it that they're allergic that they're That's what's happening to my face. It happens. I think it's new soap I'm using. Look at that. That's a big old spot. Especially with someone that's uh, as allergic to stuff as you are. She... A, a breeze could blow across her face and she'd break out. <laughs> so, I am... I don't know what's breaking me out. Especially if someone's mowing their lawn. Oh my gosh, yes. Fresh grass cuttings. Uh, I had allergy testing done. I actually have a video up of me doing... Having... <coughs> <clears throat> of me having an allergy test done. Well, that was not fun at all. If you need allergy testing, get it done. But let me prepare you that it's the most horrible thing you'll ever go through. I look like I had... Was it more horrible than your wisdom teeth? Yes. Really? Did you ever see that video? Nope. Can't say I have. I, did I not show you what I look like? I think you showed me a picture. It was a long time ago and I was working a lot. I had literally up and down both my arms and, it, and right here, up and down both of them. They took needles and they would have like 40 spots and they just ran needles all in my arms, both sides, and then on my back. And I literally looked like I had to wear long sleeves for a long time because it looked like I had track marks really bad. And I was bruised for a long time. And I came back to being allergic to fresh grass cuttings, dust mites, pollen. That's crazy because I thought it was supposed to be like a scratch test. No, it was needles in Scratchy. I had needles in me. It hurt so bad. <clears throat> That's ridiculous. And it was all up down my back. It was bad. I've never had a good allergy test done because I am allergic to nothing. I'm allergic to. I'm amazing. I'm a great human being. But I need to get home and take a hot shower, open these pores up, and squeeze what I can out of these. Well, you know, I might be allergic to food. I do swell up pretty good. I, uh. I hate my face breaking out. That's my biggest thing is I hate when it breaks out. So. Tell me about urgent care. Yeah, that's how I got. Look at my face. I didn't want to like that in there until after I ate. Oh my it. God, you look like you're smuggling a jawbreaker. You didn't look like it that before after I ate. What if I was like some night? What, chicken or bacon? <laughs> no, bro. Every, everything they made, everything you ate there, you made at home. Yeah, I know. It was really good, though. All right, so we're going to go get an orange slush drink. Again, this is no by January, and we're not participating in it, apparently. I think we lost. We lost. We failed. We, gotta, we, we just got to try harder. And, like, it's just... We're not very good at not... We'll call you on no vibe November. No by November. No vibe. No by November. No by November. That's Thanksgiving. Okay, who needs a turkey? Oh, we do. Are they gonna, are y'all gonna go? Are you gonna go? I hate No? Them. Yeah? No? Fine, don't go. I'll go. So, I don't know what's going off my face. I've got to figure out that because I'm not feeling that breaking out crap. But I did sleep with the dog last night and we've been battling fleas with her since we got her. So, maybe fleas bit me? Could be, couldn't it? Flea bag. Look at that. That's bad. They didn't bite me. Yeah, but you wouldn't curl. Your face wasn't in her. Well, she was still right there by me. You think they'd have bit my back or something? So what are you saying? I'm allergic to my little dog? Hey, that could be it. I don't know. Maybe. I can't be allergic to her. Maybe. 
But anyway, she peed all over the bed today. I don't think we even finished that story earlier. But she peed all over the bed, and Glenn refuses to let her back upstairs now. No, she, she's, she's cage bed. She can't be in the she bed. She does not sleep in the bed. So one mess up, she's damned. That's life. all you get in life. You mess up once, you go to jail. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like, your honor, it was just my first time. Can I get a strike? No, go to jail. <laughs> so little puppy's in jail today. Maybe tomorrow will be a better day for her. Nope. You can't keep her punished forever. I can't. So, like I said, maybe tomorrow is a better day for a <clears> little baby. And she, I'm just so tired and sick. I don't feel good and my face is breaking out. I don't feel pretty no more. I feel ugly. I really do. I don't feel pretty at all no more. Days. You, don't listen. you haven't felt good the past couple weeks. I've been sick. I've been sick right before Christmas. She put food in there? Anyway, some lady was putting like, it looked like food inside the mailbox. But, um, I'm excited for my orange drink. I've been addicted to these orange slushies. They're orange dream sickle. Kind of, I don't know how to describe them, just like orange dream sickles. They're from Speedway. And that is, every time we go out, I have to have one. Like, I never, I always drink unsweet. Maybe that's what's breaking me out. What? All that sugar. Where are we trying here for? Where do you think we're going? Speedway. Where? South Point? Yeah. No, it's slushy, right? Yeah. Where's the Speedway in Chesapeake anyway? South Point? Yeah. So why not just hit the freeway that dumps me out right at Walmart? Oh yeah, true. Well anyway, um, that could be what's breaking me out. I'm not used to having sugar. If that's what you want to believe, we can get you an unsweet. No, I want one of them. <laughs> but I think that that's what's causing it. Because I'm not used to, all I ever drink is unsweetened iced tea or water. I don't drink nothing else at all. And then I've been addicted to these new sugary drinks. Bam! My fault. That's what's breaking me out. It's always my fault. So this is my last one. Good. More for me. But that, that, that could be exactly it, can it? Sure. Are you just saying that? Or... Sure. Could be. Totally. Because that's my face breaking out. Sugar's bad. Sugar is bad. Sugar's awful. I really like them though. And we got another dilemma. Might as well go ahead and tell you about it. Um, what now? Huh? What now? In the subdivision across from our subdivision, there's a house for sale. <clears throat> and it would be cheaper for us to buy a $160,000 home over there than it would be to put $160,000. We couldn't even afford $160,000 double wide on our property. Like just $120,000 is going to be like a $900 house payment. And if we get a $160,000 home across from us that's already there, we're looking at like $800 house payment. So what do we do? I still owe on the land. I bought the land. And I still owe four years on that land. I paid $20,000 for it. Um, and I'm down to like 16000 so not that bad. But I've only had it for like a year and a half now. Not even a year and a half. December, maybe a year. So, it's gonna be a long, long, long progress, progress, process for us to get a house on our land. But our land will be paid off in five years, four years. Or we can get a house that's already built. It's ready to move in. It is a gorgeous house. Like, it is gorgeous inside. They remodeled it. And every room is... Hey, did you notice every room is the same color? Yeah, but that just takes a stroke of paint. No, that didn't bother me. I liked that, actually. And they have brand new floors. They have, it was like a caramel walls in every room and then the, the 
wood. Like, it's not like solid wood. It had like a design in the wood. It was kind of like a, I want to say a brindle kind of wood. Yeah. It was like brindle. And it was really gorgeous all through the house. And I don't like carpet. I didn't notice the stairs had carpet in it. But that ain't a big deal. I can get runners and put up that. And it's a five car garage. Or it had five car parking. And a garage. And a garage. And a big fenced in backyard. I mean, it's literally ready to move in. Sign it, close, go in. And we're looking at about $800 house payment. Or, like I said, we can get a brand new double wide. And we gotta stay from the budget of 100 to 120, and 120 is pushing it. I think you told me anything between 100. Yeah. So I can get 100. Because you get a higher interest rate <clears throat> on double wise than you do on a house. I, this don't make sense. It looks like it'd be cheaper to get double wide. Still get a higher interest rate. Oh, well, anyway, and I just, I don't know what to do right now. I really, I just don't know what to do. Because I really want to live right behind my mom. But then, I really would love to have this house that we've seen this for sale. It just went up yesterday. Literally, they just posted this house for sale yesterday. And... Oh, and her mom thinks she'd be just stupid to go get it. Because it's in a horrible neighborhood right across the street from the neighborhood you live in. <laughs> well, my mom doesn't want <coughs> us to move that far, I think. Oh, it's just stupid. It's so stupid. It is. It's literally like you could... I could fly. roll my fat ass to that subdivision It's that close. You could literally fly a paper airplane from my mom's house to there. <laughs> yeah. It's not that far. And, um, oh, but it's such a worse neighborhood. Why would you quit? It sucks. That makes sense to me. And um, I just, I really, I think I really want that house. But the sad thing is, is houses in this area where we live at, they go really quick. And right now, as you already know, Glenn does not have a job. You know, he starts his new job January the 20th. And would it be a smart move for us to rush and get to a house you just start a new job? But that is, that house ain't going to be there forever. Nope. And that's a perfect house for us. Yep. Four bedrooms, like 2,300 square foot, and upstairs and downstairs, a basement, a garage. Is there a basement? Yes. You sure? The basement's furnished. You like, sure there's a basement? Yeah, the basement's a great big, huge family room down there. Can you guys roll the pictures? <clears throat> I'm saying, though, are you sure it's a basement and it's not just the downstairs? No, it's like where the garage is at. Yeah, right next to the garage. Yeah. It's not a basement. What is that? That's the first floor. Oh, anyway, I don't know. Because you enter in the front door and you're in the middle of the house. You go down or you go up. Down would be where you'd stay. I'm talking about your guy room. You're going down. <laughs> you know what I mean, down there? That'd be where you would... That's... Sure, that's where all the fellas are coming in and watch the football game. Tracking mud in. Now you stay upstairs, woman. You stay upstairs. The downstairs is mine. I'll clean it. I'll take care of it. It's mine. You just you just keep your butt upstairs. Fireplace is mine. That's where our Christmas tree and everything's going. No, it's my downstairs. Glenn, don't be like this. That's where our Christmas tree and everything's going. He, he thinks he's funny. I am. I'm freaking hilarious. And um, I just I don't know what we're going to do. Because it is door to door over there, but it's not that bad. Like it's not you. If you went out in your bra and panties or a baggy shirt and, and just panties on to go to the mailbox, everybody'd see you. Where I live at right now, you can do that and nobody sees you. Whoa. Is it? You live just about the same distance from everybody else that they do in the other one. Yeah, but there's nobody in front of us. So. I just don't know what to do. And a good thing is... It doesn't matter if you have someone in front of you. you got a two-story two, two -story house and a garage. And a big backyard. But another thing is... is Already fenced. Our property kind of floods from time to time. Over there, it doesn't. And we wouldn't be actually getting rid of our property either. We'd still be keeping it because it joins into my mom's property. And it's just in 
it puts a value of her house up even more. I just don't know what we're going to do. But I really like the house. And if I, it's just not going to be for sale for very long. Man, look at that. Look at my face. And that light. I look like I've been beat. Come on, get over here. All right, guys. So, I'm just down in. I've had... Well, as you already know, I have a personality. Do you want to teach you? Yeah. I have a personality and borderline problem going on. And um, I have highs and lows. And I think I've hit my low. Like, for the past couple of days, like the entire time I was sick and everything, I was on a Like, I was high. I wasn't high, high. You know what I mean? Like, I was on my high. And um, I was just so energetic. And I wanted to do everything, even though I was sick. And... Now I'm just, I'm on my low. I don't take medication for it. I don't do drugs. But, uh, yeah, I can definitely tell a difference in my mood and my energy level. It's down. Down, down, down. So I really want to just go home and clean the little dog's cage out. Because I have to clean her little cage out with Ella in there more frequently than normal. Ella, oh my goodness. Ella was doing so good at being puppy trained. She was being so good. And this little dog peed the bed. I found poop next to her dog doggy pad when I woke up. And she was doing so good. And it's like she took steps back. So I've got to work harder on her. And I really am just so exhausted. I think it's just because I've been sick and I've just been running. But, um, I'm just ready to go home. Hopefully we have internet. And let me tell you something bad that happened. This is a string to my hoodie. Like, you know that the hood, it came out. And I gotta put it back in there. Just the hoodie Glenn got me. So I'm like, I gotta get that fixed. I'm just in a depressing mood, I think. So, I'm probably not going to vlog anymore tonight. I'm going to work on getting videos up. I like recording for you guys, but I don't like recording while I'm in my little funk. I think I've hit a little funk. So, yeah. <laughs> That's all for this video. And it's probably like, I wanted to cut it up because like right now it's like 20 minutes long. I know you don't want to sit here and watch 20 minutes of me just talking about everything that's boring. But I'm hoping I have internet when I get home. Maybe I will. Alright guys, so I'm going to go home and take care of this breakage. breakage. Yeah, I definitely do not need to record for a little bit. I am just not feeling it. I'm tired and... I need to take a break. Just catch up on editing and get spoilers out for you guys. We have a lot of spoilers out and I had so many plans for 2020 that I wanted to do like no by January. No by January, I just did not have the willpower to do it. I really didn't. It's sad. And uh Glenn don't help much. She's like, But you want to do no by January? You can't do that. Oh, guess what? He is so not participating in by January. He bought a video game today for like 30 bucks. And that's not a necessity. I mean, us going out to eat and getting stuff to drink and stuff, yeah. But I can't say much because I spent $38 at Dollar Tree or at Dollar Tree for little dogs mainly. So, this has definitely been a big fail for no buy January. <laughs> 